guys as you know that the Samsung Galaxy S10 is the next big thing around the corner. So Samsung has already unveiled everything related to the Samsung Galaxy S10 series but Samsung didn't say a word about the ultrasonic technology which will feature the Samsung Galaxy S10. And guys this ultrasonic scanner is the key selling point of the upcoming Galaxy S10 series. So Qualcomm unveiled its new ultrasonic scanner which can read and authenticate fingerprints through the glass display on the front of a smartphone. So on stage during its technology, Summit the component tells that the Galaxy S series will begin shipping in mobile devices in the first half of 2019 and the Galaxy S series smartphone will be the first phones ever to feature this ultrasonic scanner. So Qualcomm has branded its innovative new fingerprint scanner 3D Sonic Sensor. Unlike traditional optical sensors, the ultrasonic variant from Qualcomm's does not compare the print against a two-dimensional pattern previously stored. Instead, Qualcomm's all-new 3D Sonic Sensor create a 3D dimensional mold of the fingerprint by bouncing sound waves of the skin through the display. So according to Qualcomm, the sensor can capture a breathtaking amount of detail down to the individual rise and pores. According to them, this makes it far more accurate than optical sensors that compare the pattern of the fingerprint. Guys, don't forget that all the smartphones from Vivo and OnePlus are using optical fingerprint scanner, not 3D sonic sensor or ultrasonic sensors. So guys, we already saw the concepts and the renders of the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus but we didn't see the actual live photos of the upcoming Galaxy S10 series. But today, there are two images to go on, one obtained by Slash Gear from an anonymous source and the other shared on Weibo, a Chinese social network. So you can see both photos side by side, both show a partial view of the back of a Samsung handset and both show three cameras, suggesting that this is probably the Samsung Galaxy S10, the standard model, not the bigger S10 Plus model because the S10 Plus model will have four cameras instead of three cameras. However, as you may notice, the cameras look different. In one image, the camera block is black while in the other, it more or less matches the back of the phone. With a purple looking shade, the lenses and sensors may also be different sizes though this could just be down to the different angles they're photographed at. And this means is that only one of of these images is genuine if either are or it could be that we're actually looking at two different models of the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. So guys, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Bye -bye.